it's another day in North Carolina and we're here heading out just a little story when I just started quilting it quickly became obvious to me that it was quilting was a very expensive endeavor the fabric cost of fabric is expensive and of Try. course all the notions Try. all the notions and materials that you might need they're, they're also expensive and, then, and so I quickly started seeking ways that I could quilt on a budget um, so one of the things that I do is that I shop at thrift stores and my favorite thrift store is the Scrap Exchange, which is here in Durham. And um, so I'm going to go to the, the Scrap Exchange today. And if I'm able to, I will do a little scan of the store and show you where I get some of my fabric from and so on. Um, it, it's not always economical to shop at the thrift store, so you have to really be careful. You have to check to make sure you're really getting um, a bargain. And so the rain has come down. All right, anyway. Yeah, so you, you have to really check to make sure that you're getting a bargain. But I get fabric there, I get notions there when they're available. Jada gets yarn for her crochet. Um, Jada loves to crochet, um, for those of you that don't know. So, um, so we try to get our materials there as much as possible there are other ways as well which I'll talk about um, later on but for now we're heading to the scrap exchange and I'm going to you know do a little video there if I can I'll take pictures regardless so if I can't do the video I'll insert pictures here scrap exchange and we did a little just a little bit of just a little bit of um, shopping there um, and so I'm going to show you those items and then I'll tell you um, what other ways um, I get fabric on a budget so this is the bag from the scrap exchange Oops. <laughs> this is the bag from the scrap exchange and so the first thing I'm going to show you is the fabric. So I got this flannel. And I like to put flannel on the back of my quilts. So this is flannel. It is 
two yards and uh, hmm, I think I paid I think I paid three or four dollars for it so this is flannel first piece of fabric this is also flannel very nice black black and white and this is four yards of fabric and I believe I paid eight dollars eight dollars for it very nice <laughs> okay so the this is cotton quilting cotton It is two yards and I paid seven dollars for it. So this is really nice. I'm thinking about the baby quilts that I am planning to make. And so this is what I had in mind um, when I purchased these, except the black and white one, but the blue and the pink. I bought for those reasons okay I also got this easy Dresden quilt thingamajig it's a ruler in here and it has this tool and I paid five dollars for this it also has a quilt pattern in it so that's pretty cool this would be my first triangular shaped ruler and then I bought some fabric that I thought I could make dresses, blouses out of. So this is the first one. Don't know what kind of material it is. It feels like, it feels like a cotton blend. Um, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I really don't know. It's very thin. And it's not stretchy at all. It has no stretch uh, but i like it i think it's nice it would be nice in a blouse i think uh, so i got three and three fourths yards of this for nine dollars and then this one also thought it would be nice for a blouse don't know what kind of fabric it is but again it kind of looks like a, the, it looks like batik, but it doesn't feel like batik. Um, it's also very thin, very little stretch, no stretch this way, very little stretch this way. But I liked it and I, I thought it would be nice to make a blouse. And um, these are just... I've, I've only ever sewn one item of clothing um, using a pattern and I'm not even finished with it yet um, but I got the fabric for that dress from the scrap exchange as well because I figure if I'm going to be practicing I shouldn't I shouldn't you know purchase expensive cloth but these are still very nice so this is one yard for three dollars of this So if I actually make something wearable, <laughs> I like I like what it looks like. I got two patterns, 99 cents for each pattern. So I'm going to be working on these, trying to make them. So another thing that I do to get fabric on a budget is I subscribe to a Facebook page called Fabric Share USA. And I also scour like the Facebook marketplace and so on to see if if they have any fabric being sold at a very reasonable price. So I recently got a bag full of scrap fabric. And when I get the scrap fabric, I throw them in this bag and then I sort through the fabric. Like, for example, this like I know this is a 
Ruby Star fabric. So I sort through the fabric and I cut them in squares. I cut five inch squares and I cut two and a half inch squares and I store them in these containers until I have enough of the color that I need to do whatever project I'm working on. So quilting is very expensive, but there are ways to do it on a budget. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, let me know what your tips and tricks are for doing your craft, your hobby on a budget. Be kind, walk good, more to come.